You know, in my dad's day and age, the currency for leadership was authority. Back in those days, if your boss told you to do something, you respected that and you just did it. Today, in the information age and creativity and innovation, we're all about influencing without authority and hence the paradigm for leadership now is authenticity. We want to be able to connect with our leaders and to be able to understand them as real people and real human beings. We want to be able to know where their direction is and where they're heading. We want to be able to understand what their why is and hopefully if it matches with our own, we'll follow them. So that kind of leadership is wonderful. However, it does come with some challenges. For example, I do not believe you can be an authentic leader if you can't say the word no. If everything is a yes, then how can you be authentic? If everything is a yes, then everything is going to come into your space, including those things that you don't value, behaviors you don't agree with, directions you do not want to align with. So I think it's extremely important that leaders who are wanting to be authentic have the backbone to say no. In order to do that, others still start to come into play. For example, those kind of authentic leaders also have to be extremely good listeners and very good at being able to understand another person's point of view, even if they don't agree with it. So in short, in today's paradigm of leadership and authenticity, we need to be able to say no, be great listeners, and to be able to understand other people's points of view.